Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I do videos on minimalism, home decor, zero waste, lifestyle, etc. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about how I am not productive. <laughs> uh, so to kind of explain myself a little bit, I find that there is a lot of value in slowing down and enjoying the little moments in your life. And I think that this is something that's not talked about enough because people are so focused on being as productive as they can. Um, so I wanted to give you guys my two cents on the matter. So I found in North American culture, there's such a big push to be super motivated, super ambitious, like climbing that success ladder and um, like moving up in your career, moving up in your finances, just like always getting ahead. And like that can be great, but I feel like there's a really bad side to it that people don't talk about, which is where it is like all encompassing and all you ever focus on is your future. And what people don't tell you is that when you get so far into that mindset, when you're not being productive, you feel like empty and like worthless almost. And you like really struggle to enjoy your life as it is at the moment and make the most of it. I found myself totally falling into this boat, like especially being a college student, always focusing on my future and like this is what I'm working towards and this is what I'm working so hard for, which is all great, but I did not see any like, for the most part, positives in what I had right now as a student. And even to this day, I really struggle to slow down because I'm always making plans, there's always something more I can be doing, there's always more lists I can be making. I love making lists, like a lot of people. That satisfaction of like crossing things out is just too good to pass up. Like, you know that, I don't know if you know that joke, like the first thing on a list is make a list and then you can cross it off right away just so you get to cross something off. And yeah, so I feel like I have to be making these big lists all the time, even if I don't really need to be getting the stuff done, I just want it all on a list so I feel like I'm going to accomplish it so I can cross it off and feel good about myself. And it's almost as if I'm doing it just to like validate myself and validate my day that I didn't waste any time and that like, I kind of have a fear of wasting time and that you only get so many years of like like your young years and I feel like I can't waste any moment, I always have to be accomplishing things. I totally see this in the YouTube world as well, there, there's so many videos out there about how to be more productive, how to make the most of everything, yada yada yada, and there's totally a time and place for it, but I feel like just no one's talking about like the value of slowing down. Like we have so many gifts and treasures in the present that we're just taking advantage of. One of the biggest kind of aha moments for me about this is looking back on my past and even in some of the toughest moments, it's like the human condition to like feel nostalgic and feel good about certain times, like in like tough times in your childhood, still like feeling that kind of heart warming feeling of like, oh, the innocence and the simplicity of childhood, like wouldn't it be nice to have that again? Or, um, or like I said, college was really tough. I've never cried so much in my life. It's so stressful. But I look back and I'm like, man, like the days when me and my buddies were studying in the library, like that was so fun. And you don't have the, you don't have to go to class. Like you can just not go. Whereas in when you're in the workplace, you have to show up for your shift. Otherwise you'll probably get fired. So like there's just always something positive you can look back on and you're really missing out on it when you're not enjoying it at the time. So the point is we really just need to slow down, relax, take a moment away from our lists, put them aside and just enjoy what we have and just appreciate this moment. There's always more work to be done, more cleaning, more studying, there's always more things you can do and it's a never-ending battle and you'll never feel satisfied from it because once you finish one list there's another one waiting, waiting right behind it for you to start, right? We believe that the more we have on our lists the happier we are subconsciously but yeah, basically, if you couldn't tell by now, that's not true. <laughs> and so basically, I'm just slowly learning that I am happiest on my slowest days when I've accepted that slow days are good. I do find though, like living in the moment is one of the hardest things I've ever done, I guess. Like it's such a long-term struggle of mine because I've 
always had that forward-thinking mindset. But I don't want to miss out on life because I'm too busy looking towards the future. Like that time that you think you're wasting can be put towards building relationships and investing in hobbies. Oh, I should also clarify that slowing down doesn't mean spending eight hours on Netflix unless you need that for a day, but it really is investing in things that will long-term make you the happiest. Like for me, just taking a moment to sit down on the couch with my husband and just catch up, not just like being a busybody around the house or like I said, throwing on a TV show to pass the time, like really investing time into each other. Other examples are like reading a book on the patio, calling up a friend you haven't seen in a long time, um, what some of my favorite moments are just like sitting outside watching the tree sway in the wind like just completely slowing down having your mind relax and just like just think just think about life think about the things that you love and the people you appreciate and like everything you have just like this is really when i feel most at peace and really happiest in my life because i and taking time to appreciate and think about what I have. So that's all fine and dandy, but it is really hard to actually do. So I have a couple practical tips <laughs> to get you there because you don't want to go so far that you like lose all ambitious and like are this like hippy dippy who doesn't do anything. Like you still have to like have life goals, be ambitious, be motivated, but it's that like middle ground of like having goals but not being so hyper focused on them. So first of all, for people who are list crazy, like I am a little bit, uh, try just putting down on your list two hours of doing nothing because then you still get to cross it off when you do it so you've completed something or two hours of on the phone with my best friend, you know, whatever it is that you want to do that's not productive. <laughs> the second tip is don't put more on your list than you have to. Only put things that you need to get done nothing else. If something can get done another day, put it on the list that day, not today. Only get done what you need to get done so that you have that spare time to really invest in what you love, right? And my last tip is learn when you're most productive. So if you are a morning person and you love doing things while the sun is like bright and shining in your house like me, do all your stuff then. If you are more of a night owl, then obviously do all your productive things then. Because if you're trying to get things done when you are in your least productive time frame, you're gonna take a lot longer and you're basically gonna be wasting time that you could be spending doing anything else. So only complete your list, if you can, when you're most productive. And really, it, just, it does just take time to switch your mindset over from getting things done makes me feel most at peace to let's see what I've already completed for myself and appreciate and enjoy it. So yeah, that was my little rant for the day. Um, it's just been on my mind for the last little while and I wanted to share it with you guys because like I said, I feel like not enough people are talking about it um, and it really aligns with my like simple living lifestyle that I'm really trying to obtain and share with you guys. Um, yeah, so that's all for today, folks. Uh, if you liked this video, please like this video. If you really liked this video, please subscribe for all the rest of my content. I swear it's not all rants. I have some, uh, what's the opposite of rants? I have some non-ranty videos about minimalism, home decor, zero waste, macrame, all that fun stuff that I'm into that I wanna share with you guys. So. Uh, yeah, thank you guys again so much for coming over to my channel and watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.